Welcome to my latest tutorial, brought to you by the web stylist, Sterling Williams, sitesbysterling.com, styling you for worldview. So today, I'm going to show you all how to connect. The previous tutorial showed you how to connect your, uh, your name at your domain name to your Gmail uh, account and how to reply it from. This tutorial is going to be about how to make a cool signature in that reply from your Gmail. So we go over to, uh, let's see, your Gmail. Uh, this little box on the top right, it's the magic box. I won't say that's what she said. Uh, go to settings, loading right here. And let's see, you want to go right here. So I just set up uh, Sterling at original for life in the other tutorial. So you can see here, kind of boring, yawn. So we wanna slap in a cool little image and a link to your website, maybe your company address, etc. cetera. So uh, let's start with an image. Go to this box here, hover over it, what do you know? Insert image. And it asks for a URL. So it needs a link to that image that's on some server or host, whether it's your blog spot, uh, your let's say your WordPress site. That's kind of one of the things I specialize in, customizing WordPress-based uh, websites. So I'll go to my WordPress, which actually this is all built upon, and um, go into the dashboard, and right here, the media section, that's where all the content for your website is, your images, your uh, about info, uh, just really everything. So you can upload very easily into um, whatever you want into, uh, let's cancel out of that. Super easy though. So let's see, I wanna take um, say this image. It's already uploaded. So just click edit. So you go to file URL, select all, copy. Let's go back to our Gmail. Remember that's just asking for the URL. So that is where that image is parked. Click OK. That's a little small though. Let's erase over that. Go back to image. And actually open this in a separate window. So you can see when I inserted the image, it's way too big. Fortunately, we have control over that. So click on the image, gives you these little choices, small, medium, large. There we go, large rocks. Okay, so now your image is in there. Now say, let's cursor over, bring that down a little bit, cursor up. So uh, let's see, do you buy? My little TM in there, brought to you by the web stylist. Um, now say you don't want to do the www, don't ever do www, that is like 1997. Uh, you do have to kind of know this HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, that always makes it a live link in every platform. If you put www, like say in Facebook, it's not a live link. So seriously do yourself a favor, just memorize this little HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So um, say you want to go to your main website and actually here, let's not put that in there. Highlight this, click this little chain, it tells you where to go. Oh, it reads your mind. Booyah! Love that. So it's a live link. Now say, you know what? I don't want that old school color. Uh, you go to color, do a hot pink, bring it back to the 80s. And uh, I don't know, say you want your address. I had a little trademark. I, I could use a little, uh, say you want to increase it. Nah, let's keep it normal. So you want to make it bold.
Sometimes it does get a little funny when you're moving things around. It'll go back to like a default color. Not a big deal. Just highlight it. When you're just about finished with all this, you might have to go back and highlight, uh, you know, whatever color. So, and if you want, you can you can move the image a little bit, move it back. It's already got a border on it. Um, so say you want to center this over, this is like the standard Word document, you know, whatever, text edit. Actually, I want it to go with, let's just go with the red. That doesn't look that great, but uh, for now it's good. So you get that in there, play with these options to get it to uh, where you're digging it. And you want to click Save Changes. So if you go to Compose and then scroll up to your new... Bam, there it is. Oh, I'm super into these QR codes. Hope you have the app, QR code, QR reader. Go to the App Store, download it, scan this little baby right here, and. Uh, Instant satisfaction. So there we go. That is how to set up a custom Gmail slash your name at your domain name dot com. And you can rig this all up through your iPhone, uh, mobile phones, etc. Well, I don't know about all mobile phones, but um, so it's what we call hashtag win win. So stay tuned. Uh, link up on my Facebook, Twitter, Style by Sterling, Facebook.com forward slash by Sterling, B-Y-S-T-E-R-L-N-G, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's make this a hashtag 2013, pow! Win-win with a dollar sign.